Hey guys, it's Katie. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a pain roller using essential oils from your starter kit. All right, so either you just got your kit or you're thinking about it and you're like, I don't know what I would do with it. I wouldn't even know where to start. Well, here's where you can start. You're gonna want your pan away and your peppermint. It's optional. You could also add this copaiba. Copaiba helps with puffiness, kind of that can go along with injuries or soreness or aches, those kind of things. Definitely the pan away. The pan away does have a child lock on it because it is not safe for kids. And then your peppermint, good for aches and pains and whatever's going on. You're also going to need a roller. And I got this box off of Amazon. You can visit my website, simplykatieann.com, and I have a page of kind of my favorite supplies or items, and you can click directly on those links and they'll take you to Amazon so you can order the containers as you need them. So this particular box comes with different colors. Brown, blue, pink, and there was green in here that I've used. So let's just use the pink comes with your roller tops, one of those, and then your cap. Next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a carrier oil. So your carrier oil is going to be, this is grapeseed oil. You wouldn't want to use coconut oil in a roller because coconut oil, even if you melt it, it's going to firm back up once it gets to room temperature, so it kinda wouldn't roll out of your roller ball. But coconut oil can be used as a carrier. A carrier oil helps slow the absorption of the essential oils into your skin. And it can also help cover a larger area where you apply the essential oils. So I use grapeseed oil in my rollers. You could certainly also use almond oil. Olive oil is a carrier. Also olive oil can tend to be a little heavy. Again, you can check on my website and I will have a list of kind of my favorite things. All right, so when you're making a roller, I always start with the essential oil first. That way you start filling this up. If you start with your carrier oil and you put too much in and then you start putting, maybe you don't have enough room for your essential oils and that's the most important part, right? 10 drops of Panaway, 10 drops of peppermint. So when you guys are dripping your essential oils into something, there's a little notch on the top. When you're wanting them to come out one drop at a time, just roll the bottle until you start seeing the drop form instead of like shaking it and not knowing how much you're gonna get in there. So you just roll, roll until you see it forming, and there you go. You could also add the copaiba if you want to, just for an extra enhancement. Copaiba amplifies the oils that it is mixed with. And you're gonna get your carrier, and you're gonna fill the rest of it up with your carrier oil. Put your cap on, your roller, just push it on there, tighten the cap, now you got your pain roller. These are actually like lip balm container labels, but I find that they work well on these kind of containers too. Write on the sticker first. Sometimes I put the sticker on and then try to write on it. Doesn't work out so well. That's it. How cute is that? So the cool part about these two is let's say you run out of it. Now you wanna refill it because you got your kit so you have your oils to refill it. You're just gonna take your fingers, your nail, your thumbnail and kind of pry the top off and it comes right off. So then you can refill it, put it back on and you're good to go. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, as always, you can email me at simplykatieann at hotmail.com or also visit my website, simplykatieann.com. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Not vegetable oil.